What is the Bible? Here's how 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 answers that question. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. As we said last time, nature reveals God. But what is clearly revealed of God by nature might be called vestiges or traces of God's attributes. As a worn inscription on an ancient tombstone hints at a craftsman's work, so nature reveals a creator, but without telling us his name or how we might be reunited with him in friendship. Because of sin, we um, now struggle to value nature's manifold witness to God's great faithfulness, mercy, and love. But God has another witness. Here's how John Calvin put it. Just as those with weak vision, if you thrust before them a most beautiful volume, even if they recognize it to be some sort of writing, yet can scarcely construe two words, but with the use of spectacles will begin to read distinctly, so scripture, gathering up the otherwise confused knowledge of God in our, in our minds, having dispelled our dullness, clearly shows us the true God. In God's general revelation in creation, his breath formed the universe. In his special revelation of scripture, God's breath wrote a story that can more perfectly lead us to him. The Bible's uh, the Bible is God's way of making himself known to us more openly, as the Belgian Confession of Faith says, as much as we need in this life for his glory and for the salvation of his own. Scripture does bear the marks of its human authors, but it's God's book through and through. As Peter says in 2 Peter 1 verse 21, for no prophecy was ever produced by the will of man, but Men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. As God's word, the Bible speaks today with divine authority on all matters that pertain to life and godliness. Peter says that in 2 Peter 1 verse 3. Uh, most importantly, the scriptures reveal God's plan to save sinners. They are able to to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ, Paul says in 2 Timothy 3, verse 15. Being li living and active, as Hebrews 4, verse 12 says, Scripture works in a variety of ways, as Paul uh, says at the end of this verse, 2 Timothy 3, verse 16. Um, first of all, they teach. As a teacher, Scripture tells us what man is to believe concerning God and what duty God requires of man, as the Westminster Shorter Catechism puts it. Because all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3, 23, uh, the Scriptures also reprove. They show us our fault. But God doesn't leave us in our misery, the misery of our failures. Scripture, third, corrects us. It shows us the way to get back on the path of righteousness after we have lost our way. If we humble ourselves, God will exalt us, James 4, verse 10. Finally, Scripture trains us in righteousness. As food nourishes our bodies, Scripture feeds our souls with the wisdom, fortitude, and courage necessary to live the way we were made to. Under Scripture's training, we can... Uh, become complete, um, equipped for every good work, as uh, 2 Timothy 3 verse 17 says. And God gives us this promise, the one who hears his word and does what it says will be blessed in his doing, James 1 verse 25.